And I have to say that some of the most um, interesting paintings I actually do are just just chill out and relax type of paintings. Now, I've gone through the um, the drawers that I've got uh, here, absolutely full of paints and things, and I've come up with a couple of old tubes of paint. We've got a Windsor Violet, we've got a Deep Turquoise, we've got some Phyllo Green, we've got some Iridescent Blue, um, i got some Yellow Ochre over there, and these tubes are all seen the best of days, and I thought, well, you know, sometimes, rather than just waste the paint why not try and use what we got and um, let's try and create the painting um, with just the colors that are on the palette there so yeah you you play around with the colors I'm mainly using greens and things so and blues uh, and that's it really so now I've got a bit of cardboard on the um, easel that I've not primed now I do recommend you prime the uh, a canvas but I've not primed this one. The simple reason is I just want to just paint and have a bit of fun today. Now, because I'm painting on cardboard, because I'm painting on cardboard, it, it doesn't really matter whether I primed it or not, to, to be quite honest with you, because um, it's, it's absorbent and it actually takes in the, the paint very, very, very quickly. So all I'm doing is just playing around with a bit of colour. I want to... I'm thinking of maybe a beach scene today. Now my friend Jason Bowen painted a painting quite a long time ago in oils um, of, a, of a beach scene. Um, well not a much, it's, it's, it was a seascape rather than a beach scene. It was a seascape rather than a beach scene. So, and I thought, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna try and, because I got a good memory when I see things. And I, gotta, I thought, I'll try and do something very similar. Okay, so I just put a little bit of yellow there to represent possibly some sand and stuff. So I'm just going to wash my brush very quickly. Um, now I'm looking at the sky, I'm thinking maybe ultramarine blue and white. So a little bit of ultramarine blue on my brush, a little bit of that white. There we are. Just slap that in there, like this. A little bit of moisture. Dun -de -dun -de -dun. There we go. So I've gone away from the winter scenes um, at the moment. I may, I may be doing another I may be doing another um, I may be doing another painting no is active. <laughs> Don't you just love technology? I say to the I say to my family sometimes, I'm going in the studio now, I'm gonna do a bit of painting. Yeah, okay, we won't bother you. Yeah, we won't bother you. No, no, we won't bother you. We'll just ring you, just to see if it annoys you. <laughs> anyway, I'm just going to put a bit of sky in like this. There we go. Dum -de -dum -de -dum. Easy as that. I'm going to get that down there, I think. Down, 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 down there. In fact, I think I'm just going to, I'm just going to bring the blue down. I'm just going to mix, mix that in there like this. Dun, dun, dun. I'm going to get a little bit of this, I think this is, um, I'm not sure what green this is, I think it's like a turquoise, I think this is a turquoise green, turquoisey blue colour, I'm going to put a bit of that in as well, just uh, just a little bit of moisture, a little bit of turquoisey blue, a little bit of trimming blue, just on the tip of my brush like that, just use the colours you've got, using the colours that you've got, and try and create something now I, as i said i've already in my mind i've already got an idea what this is going to look like so that's 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 pretty good i got a little bit of this iridescent blue i'm gonna try a bit of that and i haven't used that for a long time just to darken up the the area there this is going to be some water by the way i'm hoping that's near enough dry now if you can judge your um you get to know acrylics and you, you'll, you'll know roughly how long it takes for things to dry. It takes a little bit longer on canvas to actually dry. But it doesn't matter if I put this blue over this sand and it goes a little bit green. It's okay because it's green 
tints in, in water in the sea. So I'm happy with that. I want to put a bit of a green in the tints in the sea anyway. So I'm just going to bring that down just like that. A little bit of colour here and there. A bit of shadow. Get a bit of this turquoisey green. Mixing that in. And I think we'll bring it like that. There we go. Then I'm going to dry that off with a hairdryer and see who has just texted me. <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to do now is um, we're just going to put a little bit of um, headland, I think, into this paint. I'm just going to grab any brush. A lot of people ask me, Clay, you, you don't say what brushes you're using and things. and to be quite honest with you, um, I just I just pick up whatever brush I want to pick up. Actually, I'm thinking maybe will that work? Just I don't want to put any more other colours on my palette, but I, I don't want to, I want to make a oh that's okay that's a nice that's a nice greeny type of colour. It's got a bit more yellow ochre to it. What what does that look like if I add a bit of white to that, that to that? Look at that! It looks like a grey, doesn't it? It's not, it's not strange. It's just a very dark, dark type of green colour. It looked a bit grey then. That's quite a nice colour actually. When you experiment with colours, you you'd be surprised. Sometimes, what do you find? And you think, wow, well, that that looks that looks like a really nice. Now now you could see it on the. Now you could see it on the. Um, the the board it looks green but it looked grey under that light so be very careful what lights you're using i got studio lights obviously in the studio for filming and things um, but ideally um, talking about lights you need uh, some daylight bulbs or something like that um, basically to, to to work to because or daylight's the daylight is the best to to work in but not everybody not everybody has got the ability to have or the, the facilities of daylight. I'm just going to put a bit of highlight in there like that. I'll do. I'll do. It's just a little headland. It's just a little headland. Going back to this big brush I had. <coughs> the air's gone. Um, I found the air, the, the air you breathe, I found it quite dry lately, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I find in the, the air is quite, quite a dry type of air, and I, and I, and it makes me cough a bit. The other thing, I've got, I've got to try and keep my hand out of the camera if I can, so it's, it's a bit more difficult for me to paint the way I want to paint. I'm sitting on an angle as well. I'm sitting at an angle from the canvas. I'm not sitting directly in front of it and, I, and I'm not doing this. So the, my perspectives um, on a lot of paintings can be slightly off because it's just the way I'm sitting and the way I see things. It's not necessarily what you were seeing through the camera. I want to get down a bit of this. I'm going to get a little bit of that phyllo green. In the water there. Like that. Get a bit of that phyllo green. A little tinge of colour. A little tinge of a 
green in the water that's like this and a few all I'm doing is just making little line marks so this is going to represent possibly some shadows and things in the water there we go so we've got a nice like calm sky we don't have to worry too much about we don't have to worry too much about the um the clouds and things no i'm going to get some white on my brush and i'm just going to put a few breakers just like this I'm trying to get a nice sharp edge on my brush. I'm just going to dirty that down with a bit of blue. A shadow in just like that, and we're going to put another one coming in there, like that, or maybe another one coming in. Get a bit of blue. Playing around, put a bit of water and stuff in. Maybe it's just the way the breakers have broken. A bit of dark color. Just like that. that represents just a little bit of shadow get a bit, tiny bit of white in there a little bit of that green just using up the paints that I've got really I'm gonna get a bit of that feel of green back in there there we go I love painting on cardboard because you can get this nice pastel effect. It's really nice actually. It's really nice. I'm just going to get the same brush that I used to do the headland. I just want to put in a bit of highlight just on the crest of this wave there like that Gonna make the noises. Gonna make those noises. Get 
a bit more weight. Just pure white just to get the looks like foam then. And then the splay coming in. Just like that. A bit more pure white. How's that look? It's looking okay, isn't it? I think it is. Let's get a little bit of that darker blue now. little pockets of shadow here and there and everywhere blend that in just like that got to have a bit shadow you've got to have shadow i tell you what we could do a bit, a bit of shadow just underneath a couple of these there we go need a little bit of shadow there we are <laughs> let's get our scripty liner this is our scripty liner let's get some of this whatever colour this is I don't know what colour this is And just put some lights, little light watermarks. In the water, like that. Got to make those noises. like that get some dark color so using up the paints that we've got sometimes you need to add a little bit of now if you've got some hard paint hard acrylic I wouldn't say hard it's not not hard but it's got it's it's, it's gone a little bit you can add a little bit of um, glazing medium or something like that to it you can add a little bit of water to it See if you can get it to work. See if you can get it thin enough to paint with. And if, if that's the case, then don't waste the paint. Try and use it if you can. I don't waste much paint if I can help it. That's, that's not the thing. If you get expensive, it's very expensive, is acrylic paint. Especially these days. I went to, um, I used to, I was making my own gesso for quite a while. And, um, I thought to myself, oh, I just, I can't be asked to make any, I can't be asked to make gesso today. I'll just go and pick some up and, because I was down the shop and I thought, oh, I'll go and buy some a gesso. And it was 15 pounds, 99 pence, UK pounds. And I thought, I'm not paying 15 pounds, 99 pence for, but basically you could use um, household emulsion paint, white paint, matte, and put a little bit of baking soda or, or um, you could put in, um, you could put in some, um, chalk or something like that anything like that you only you have to make a small amount you only have to make a small amount 
I'll put in a few seagulls. There you go. Put a few seagulls in. And there's a quick, easy painting of a seascape, um, which you could turn into a bigger painting. And using up some old paints that we've got lying around in the um, in our art supply boxes and stores. And um, yeah, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Give me that thumbs up because that's very important. Because it just shows people, really, that I give out good lessons. So thank you very much again. Like I said, please like, comment, share and subscribe. And I shall see you next time. Bye.